Hello everyone, this is Pradeen and I welcome you all to this video. Today we'll have a look into the Toyota's marketing skills and strategies. Recently, uh, Toyota has changed its tagline, let's go places. So let's go Toyota. The history of Toyota started in 1933 with the company being a division of Toyota Automatic Loan Works devoted to the production of automobiles in the, the direction of founder son Kichiro Toyota. Kichiro Toyota had traveled to Europe and United States in 1929 to investigate automobile production and had begun researching on uh, gasoline part engines in 1933. 1930. Toyota Automatic Loom Works was encouraged to develop automobile production by Japanese government which needed domestic vehicle production due to the war with China. In 1934, the division produced its first A-type engine and consequently, in 1936, they produced their first passenger car named Toyota Model AA. Uh, we can see in the slide, uh, there's the article, there's an article of the newspaper, in the local newspaper, uh, which is telling that the first car of Toyota was launched and uh, everything you can see, the models and all, standing their advertisement skill. <laughs> at the time. In 1950, they consequently developed a separate sales company other than the one which they used for their handloom, you know, industry. Um, although the Toyota Group is best known today for its cars, it still is in textiles business and still makes automatic looms which are new computerized and electric sewing machines. And hence, at that time, this separate company for a sales company was formed separately for Toyota Motors. Today, uh, Toyota's product makes us huge having various lines of products, each line being long and getting longer, on and on and on. It includes sedans, SUVs, trucks, minivans and sports cars. Toyota keeps in mind their customer um, uh, afforded uh, the their um, model affordability and stuff they're they were they're producing low-cost scions mid-cost Camrys to luxurious Lexus the tagline of Texas Lexus is passionate pursuit of production perfection so a uh, variety is based on the customer res response and feedback that's that is the most notable thing of Toyota that all the variety of cars that are created were actually based on the responses and the needs and needs and demands of the customer. Uh, Toyota Scion was a result of careful four-year thoroughly researched product. Toyota realized the Scion start customers were teens of age 16 to 21 years who wanted personaliz personalization. So Scion a monospec car was made with 40 customizable elements. Monospec car means a basic machine you can which you can modify as as you want which in which you can have as many fast facilities as you want teens being someone who want a unique car they can make their own car uh, if they choose scion so that was uh, making this car was the turning point of toyota's life marketing strategy of scion was even a different from other marketing uh, the strategy of marketing other cars of Toyota because you know uh, it being a car of teens as mentioned um, of age group 16 to 21 the marketing strategy which they chose for Scion was uh, keeping that thing in mind they marketed Scion at music events where a lot of teens come and showrooms where teens can hang out other than just steering the car they were that the, the places were so developed, so beautiful, and nice, and well maintained, where teens can just come, hang out with their friends, family, anyone, any any time they want, and along with seeing the car and stuff. Toyota's marketing strategy differs countrywide based on the demand of the population. Like uh, in in United States, comfort, size, and dependability is something which is needed the most. Um, in Europe detail and brand heritage is at the topmost position because you know um, all the European Union and specifically uh, talking about United Kingdom London they they concentrate more in the brand heritage brand heritage is something which sells most which is uh, responsible for the sale of the cars for the sale of the products in general 
The reason for Toyota's success is its high manufacturing unit and which can product eight models at the same time. Make um, Toyota even makes thousands of changes, operational changes in a single year. And even the changes are based on, uh, depending on the country, they, they you know apply the changes to the cars of, for different countries differently. Uh, in 2006, Toyota earned over 11 billion, which is far more than other major automobile manufacturers combined. The reason behind this success of Toyota is um, like the employees of Toyota are told that they have uh, they are in the company just to serve three purposes: making cars, making cars better, and teaching everyone how to make cars better. And that's why Toyota can build a wide variety of models inexpensively, earning huge profits. See, uh, we'll now have a look at the summary. Uh, I told you about how Toyota was formed. It's article in the no local newspaper. When was it Toyota's first independent sales organization, or I can say it's independent sales company was formed? The line of product of Toyota, like from sedans, SUVs, minivans, means from small to big large whatever even you know from a small sedan to a big truck the most successful product of toyota was the scion for the teens which was the customizable you know personal personalizable car at that time even toyota's intelligent marketing strategy is based on as, as i told you country wise the, the first country wise and this was the reason why toyota earned so much success and it earned oh, so much money also. Today, Toyota is one of the leader in automobile sector. Coming on, uh, going to the questions. Um, the first question we'll see: Toyota has built a huge manufacturing company that can produce millions of cars each year for a wide variety of customers. Why was it able to grow so much bigger than all than any other manufacturer? Yeah, that's something. True, it was. It is the, almost the biggest company today, and it it's it has grown exponentially in, in this century. So the uh, the answer to this question would be: Toyota has a full line of market in the United States of America. After a research of four years from teens, they have come to the conclusion that teens of the age 16 to 21 years all want their own personalized vehicle. So they built a monospec car in their factory. They, there you can choose 40 customizable elements from the from stereo to floor mats the way you like the way you want that made the young people grab their attention and the reason of Toyota's success is its manufacturing which continuously gets improved every time you know even the cars get improved every time it's just it's the it is not stable at a same, same position it's just improving on and on and on and that's one of the major reasons of Toyota's success. The purpose of making cars, making cars better, and teaching how to make cars better. Yeah. Coming to the next question, has Toyota done the right thing by manufacturing car brand for everyone? Why or why not? Toyota is a nice thing, manufacturing car brand for everyone. Yeah. As I told you, Toyota's... Um, Product mix is huge, having a lines of products for different age groups, for, you know, different affordabilities, for different purposes. Not every car pro, or not every car company provides this facility. So due to that, many people get, got attracted to Toyota. People always want something different from the world. And that's what Toyota did. And that, what, what, what was the reason why it grabbed the attention of the common population. So as per I told you, as per 2006, Toyota has, uh, has earned 11 billion more than other automakers. In 2007, it became large car maker. In 2008, it manufactured 9.2 million vehicles, 1 million more than GM, and almost 3 million more than Volkswagen, which was the topmost car company at that time. And Toyota even had beaten it at the time. So, uh, next question we'd see, did Toyota grow too quickly as Toyota suggested? What should the company do over the next year, next five years, and next ten years? How can growing companies avoid quality problems in the future? 
Uh, Toyota has done growth quickly as Toyota said and uh, the reasons you might have seen in the earlier slides because it had kept some different specification and also they have thought about the young generation so because of that it got a good response to make more growth over the next five to ten years they should always think of something even new like as they did in the past different from the rest of the car so that they can make their own identity they can keep their already made own identity in the market in the in the eyes of their customers in the eyes of the common people they should look after quality and improve so that people should have less maintenance charge and friendly technology. Uh, I, even want to, I even want to tell you that uh, Toyota had a very bad phase during the 2010. Uh, it had to face challenging times. It, uh, the fact, the reason behind this thing was uh, like Toyota's um, manufacturing and Toyota's cars had some manufacturing defect and it lost around two to six billion dollars due to all those things like uh, um, these defects cause deaths of you know population of even like even 50 people around the world so but Toyota has done great uh, getting over it and making its uh, identity of you know safety of convenience of comfort get getting their image back in the society and that is why I think Toyota is going to be the leader and grow even more in the years to come Thank you everyone. My name is again Pratik Shendri. I'm from VNID Nagpur and I have done made this presentation under the valuable guidance of uh, Dr. Samir Mathur sir who is presently a professor at Indian Institute of Management IIM Lucknow. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Goodbye.